let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Shit, this bike is quick, man. <laughs> Hey guys, I need to get some gas quick, man. I'm out here in the fucking country somewhere. <laughs> Shit. But anyways, I just want to give you a little update and let you know that I may actually be considering getting the FZ07 over the FZ09 if I get one of those two bikes. I still haven't, I'm um, not dead set on getting either one of those bikes yet. I'm still going to test ride. I'm going to try to get a test ride with the Victory A-Ball and a Han, uh, excuse me, Harley V-Rod and possibly a Suzuki M109R if I can find one around here. Uh, but I, I think I'm, I want to lean towards getting a naked bike and uh, I really like that FC07. And the reason why I'm, I'm having second thoughts on the FC09, first off, they just did a recall on that bike. And supposedly the shift cam segment stopper uh, can go bad, crack and set you up for a real fucked up day now they didn't word it like that they said it can cause you to crash same thing but I don't want to have a fucked up day man <laughs> but no, they, they're going to fix the problem but that, you know, it's not just that it's a new model a new in engine, you know there's not a lot of triples in the uh, you know three cylinder engines with Japanese bikes so that has me concerned it's the first run of that bike and there could be you know some problems down the road some some bugs with the the engine you know it I tell you guys that's why I go with the Honda is because these bikes are highly refined I mean this is the same basically this bike goes back to 2008 and they've done a lot of refinements over the years to actually make it better you know, so you don't have to end up taking your bike, having to go to the dealership, waste time out of your life to have recall work done. So I don't, you know, an FZ07 has a twin cylinder engine, which twin cylinder engine engines have been around forever. So you know that bike is going to be reliable, at least the engine. And also what I like about that bike is it, it's pretty quick off the line. And that's what I'm really looking for for a second bike. I'm not looking for a balls fast second bike. I already got that with the blade. I mean, shit, if I want to get the adrenaline rush, that's what I have this bike for. But the FZ07, I mean, it does, from what I hear, it does 0 to 60 in like at least 4 seconds. It has a top speed of 120 miles per hour. You know, shit, I don't rarely ever exceed 120 miles per hour. And uh, so it's got that good low down torque. It's got the, you know, the low end and the mid range power. It's got a comfortable, you know, it's comfortable. You're in the upright seating position. And also, what I like about that bike, not only does it look better than the FZ09, uh, but it also it has this plastic piece in the middle, I think it's cool, where you don't have to put a, a tank pad sticker on your your. Tank. I wish I fucking I hate tank pads. You know they always end up the engine always end up coming up and you have to glue that shit down. It's freaking annoying. And uh, so that's really cool. And uh, and also that bike is lightweight, man. It only weighs 397 pounds, which is what 17 pounds lighter than the FZ09, and it gets much better fuel efficiency which is good because it has a smaller tank a 3.7 gallon tank compared to my 4.7 uh, gallon tank here on this blade so you can get at least 200 miles out of the FCL7 from what I hear so that's less trips to the gas station compared to the FCL9 and uh, like I said I really was looking for something that I can just cruise on in the back country I can tour on and uh, this got some quickness off the line, you know. And the FZ07 really it fits the bill. And uh, and even with the the FZ07 and nine, by the way, is it does have a bracket there that you can actually put a windscreen. At least I don't know if they have any options yet. So if I want to take long trips on the highway, I just slap on one of those a screen on that puppy, 
and I'm good to go. But, you know, another reason why I thought about, you know, going with the FZ07 is in the future, I may be getting into the RV scene, and I'd like to travel with a smaller bike. And that's that FZ07 is the perfect bike, you know, that I can put on a uh, put in a, a RV. And uh, and I may end up selling the blade in the future and just having the the small bike. So and it's not it's not a slow bike either, you know. It's not like going back to a 250 or something. It's got that get up and go power, lightweight where you can throw it around like the Super Sports and. Uh, it's got the comfort there for riding all day long. So, I, and it has the, the tried and true parallel twin engine. And by the way, that twin engine sounds awesome when you put an Akrapovich uh, aftermarket exhaust on that bike, man. This shit almost sounds like a Harley. It sounds awesome. Uh, you know, the triple cylinder sounds good too with the aftermarket exhaust, but you know, both of them sound good. But I'll tell you guys, you know, I, I see a lot of people that have chosen the FZ07 over the FZ09, and they've been happy with it. And uh, I think really that's the way to go. And also, I'm going to save a little bit on insurance. I'm going to save on the initial cost, a thousand dollars less. And uh, and I love that color scheme, the graphite with the blue wheels and the blue frame. That is sick. So if I decide to go with one of the FZ bikes, it's definitely. It's looking like the FZ07. You know, I know some of you guys say, man, you got to get the extra power. You know, I don't need all that extra power, dude. And then besides the suspension, you know, what everybody says, the suspension really isn't well suited for the power for that bike. You know, as where, even though a lot of people say the suspension on FZ07 is really not that great, but still is probably a little bit better than FZ09, you know, because... It has a little bit less power than FZ09. But I, I wish I could just test ride the fucking bikes. Believe me, guys. But I can't get a fucking test ride out here in Northeast Ohio on FZ07 or 9. It just ain't happening, man. I've called everywhere. And they're like, no, we can't do it. There's no used bikes here. If we had a used bike, we'd let you test ride it. So, so... A test ride is out of the question, but hey, I can get the bike. If I don't like it, I can always sell it. I doubt if I'd lose any money even. Probably maybe a couple of few hundred bucks. So, it may be the FZ07, but like I said, I'm not dead set yet. I'm still, uh, I'm going to do some test rides, even on the cruisers yet, which I feel like a cruiser really is not for me as of yet. Maybe in the future, but I'm definitely going to do the test ride because those, those are the only bikes really I can get a test ride on around these parts. You know, you know these dealers just are, uh, you know, they're not, they don't want you to take these super sports out or, uh, you know, these new bikes. They won't let you test ride around here and we don't have, for some reason here in Northeast Ohio, they don't like to do demo days that often, man. I've been trying to get a demo day for the last fucking four years. And when they were going to have one, they canceled it, which sucks ass. You know, I wanted to test all a bunch of different bikes, but it just... And I know some of you guys say, Cycle Cruiser, why don't you go find somebody, you know, one of your viewers around here, meet up with them and, and uh, you know, test ride their bike and let them test ride yours. You know, I see a lot of you guys that do that, but I'm not really hip with that, man. <laughs> I, you know... I don't want to, I don't really want nobody else on my bike, man. You know, that's like, that's like me, uh, you know, loaning, if, loaning my girlfriend out for somebody to fuck her and see how, how good she fucks. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm a jealous type of dude here. I don't want anybody fucking my bike, man, you know. And then if they crash the bike, we got problems. And I don't want to crash their fucking bike. And I got problems with them. You know, and I don't want to have to pay out a bunch of money, which I highly doubt just riding these straight roads here in Ohio. We have a crash, but you never fucking know. And you're not covered by your insurance on somebody else's bike, at least from my understanding. So I'm not really all that cool with that, to be honest with you. If I had a little like a shit bike or something, you know, I, that I didn't give a shit about, I probably would. But 
I love my CBR 1000 double R. This is my baby, man. I love this bike. But I'll keep you guys updated, man. We'll see what's popping. But, uh, you know, like I said, you know, although I think the FZ07 looks a hell of a lot better than the FZ09, I don't give a shit about looks, really. Uh, it looks, it, like I said, once you throw a leg over the bike, you know, looks go out the door. It's all about the riding experience. And, uh, you know, let me give you an example as far as a woman. I'd rather have a homelier woman that's good in bed and can cook than to have a pretty bitch that don't do shit but sit on her ass and bitch all the time and spend all my fucking money. You know? Same with a bike. I, I'd rather, I, I don't want to, I would have to, rather have an ugly bike that's fun as hell to ride, pleases me, than to have a pretty ass bike that's fucking boring as fuck and breaks down all the fucking time. Making me spend all the money on the bike, you know? Or spend not just money, but time. So, and that's one reason why I get Hondas, guys. They may not be the prettiest bikes all the time, may not be the fastest bikes. But they keep me riding. That's what I want to do. I want to ride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck fixing. Fuck recall work. I want to ride. But hey guys, that's all I have for you. Out here in the fucking Ohio country. About to run out of gas in this bitch. Hopefully I can find a gas station come up soon. But hey guys, so until next time. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces! Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go Links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.